Well, hello, I'm glad you're here. Hey, and th today might not be something you're interested in, or this might actually be the reason you found me on YouTube. I'm Chuck Houston with That's Life. Life in rural Kentucky. We talk about a lot of different things here on this channel. Today, we are talking about a new incubator that we got. There's a lot of reasons why we got the incubator. We, we've raised chicken f for years, and that, that's not the primary, primary reason that we got this particular incubator. I'll tell you about that in a moment, but first, this is all about the incubator itself. This is one that we got from Incubator Warehouse. And I did quite a bit of searching around some people that are raising, hatching out some chicks. And I finally settled on this one. It's called the Inky View. And one of the reasons why I particularly chose this is because you can see all through the entire incubator. You can see what's going on. Now it's got an automatic egg turner. You see that little arm right there? That moves every once in a while. You can actually set it how you want uh, it to move. I've got it set to rotate the egg six times a day now. And I'll show you a little bit more information about that. You can actually screen sh screenshot some of this if you want to. But let me show you a couple other things about it. That is a vent. You pop that off if you want less humidity. Now let's look here. You can see it's 99.5, which is perfect for what we want to do. You can see the humidity is 45%. You can also see that during the incubation period, it's supposed to be between 35 and 55. And for the hatching period, you're supposed to jump that up. 60 to 80 percent you can set the number of days that you want the incubator to uh, uh, it's, it's a countdown basically to let you know when you're down to the last day and there's a lot involved with that hey there's some great people on YouTube I'll probably do some incubation videos later uh, but I, I'm thinking of uh, Turnix Corner, I'm thinking of Slightly Rednecked, and MyShire.com. That's three that I look to, but anyway, let me, let me tell you a little more about this. This is not supposed to uh, be that accurate when you listen to people talk. It gives you a general idea. So you can actually go into the program on this incubator and you can adjust it. If you want it to be a degree higher or a degree lower and show 99 point, right now 99.6. So you can make adjustments to that. And I do that through that, that humidistat thermostat that I have right there. That one is highly accurate, and I had them put it in the order. You can get different styles of them. I just wanted one to put inside. You can get some that just have probes, and as you see, you could you could get a probe through this access hole right here if you wanted to, and and have that outside. I did not. I didn't see any reason for that, and you don't lose much room inside it. So it automatically turns the eggs. I believe this is a different style than what I had seen. A lot of the videos that I saw on YouTube were older. That's another reason why I'm doing this. And, uh, you know, it's just it's plastic. I did not want to get the foam myself. I wanted to get hard plastic. I thought that the foam would be a problem if I dropped it. I guess anything that you drop would be a problem, though. And I wanted to show you this cost again we got this from incubator warehouse and if we zoom in here you can see it was 203 dollars and then 
the Inky Therm uh, temperature humidity gauge that I got was 15 bucks. Now, this was $203, but it's because I ordered like a, a combo kit that they offered. So what is this? This is an egg candler. And again, uh, I'm not going into great detail on a lot of this. It's a, it's a general overview. Hey, I gave you the names of some great people a while ago. Slightly Rednecked, My Shire, and Katarnik's Corner. But let me show you this. instructions it went together so easy that there's no reason I mean it was so easy there's no reason that anyone should have any problem no matter who you are you should not have a problem the reason you can set the different days as you can see here different things take different amount of time to hatch out and like I said you can screenshot any of this if you wanted to uh, there at the top they talk about humidity and then they talk about stabilizing I plugged mine in and got it going early on purpose so that I could get it all ironed out and get the temperature exactly like I wanted talks about egg turning talks about humidity there egg candling the hatching period after the hatch troubleshooting and technical uh, facts now that's where I was telling you I've went in and made some tweaks on it so let's see here I'm having a hard time watching all this temperature calibration that's exactly what I did if the current temperature reading is 99 and you enter a temp of 0.5, then the temperature reading will calibrate up to 99.5. And likewise, if you go down 1.2, then you will be 97.8. That's what I did to get both of these jiving. I don't know how far off this was, if really any, because I did so much messing around. <laughs> up, down, turn around. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how far it was off, but it, it it wasn't much. When I put water in, of course, it changed everything. We've got a girl party. Girls have taken over the house today. Okay, I shut the door. Maybe that'll help a little bit. But anyway, you add cold water in there, it's going to change the temperature. So instead of me waiting, I, I adjusted. I adjusted up. I adjusted down. I adjusted up. And anyway, I've got it exactly what I, uh, the way I like it right now. I do also want to show you this because this could help you. I started keeping track on the back of this invoice. Um... I did have it adjusted at 2.5 and it was showing 100 degrees. Then I went to 2.0 and it went to 100.8. I made it three and it went to 99.5 and then I kept track of the humidity. Earlier today it was at 99.3 at 45%. And right now you see it's 44% at 99.5 degrees. I'm very happy with the way that this is right now. I don't want to go too super long with this video. I'll be hatching some eggs coming up and maybe talk a little bit more in depth about some things with it. So if you like this video, please let me know. I'll be happy to do some more. And if I don't get many comments or many views, I don't know, they'll probably be very sparing. So anyway, friends, you have yourself a great day.